Hey, what's up, YouTube? This uh, the Nerdy Max here, and unless I'm otherwise uh, mistaken, I've um, soft bricked my phone. Now, go ahead and double check that. So I'm putting my battery back in, and I'm gonna go ahead and boot it up. Got my it's my uh, Epic 4G on Sprint. I was running the the Trinit, uh, sorry the uh, Viperom Synergy and and we're just stuck on the boot screen here and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you that even though the phone is soft bricked we can go ahead and recover it using Odin so it'll just be another couple moments here while I let let it make sure it is really bricked I already had taken my battery out nothing's happening and I actually managed to do this the first time uh, using the quick boot I'm not sure why but if I try to quick boot into recovery I'm using a uh, clockwork mod 3 it just bricks the phone so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the battery out again put it back in back back on I'm gonna go into the download mode what I'm gonna do to do that is press the one and the power switch both at the same time and just hold them until you get the little Android guy alright so I am in download mode now want to make sure that you do not do this with a empty battery and you want to make sure your computer has a is plugged in. I'm using my laptop here and I already uh, pulled out and up so let me go ahead and get it opened here and then you're going and I've already uh, have all the files I need I'll include them in the the description line and so I'm putting in my pit file and I'm also putting in uh, my tar file and I'm gonna be going back to EB13, that's one that I've been using. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead. I've already plugged in the micro SD to the computer. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into the phone. Computer sees it. Make sure you have your your drivers um, already installed for Samsung. Okay, and you see it comes up, it's showing a uh, COM5 on mine. It really doesn't matter which COM you're going to use. And then you're going to uncheck all of the buttons here except for the auto reboot. So I'm taking it off the F tab. And I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to edit this at all. I'm going to let it run the course so you can see because you definitely do not want to uh, to undo your phone while you're doing this open or you can really mess it up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And Odin starts doing its thing. And it's thinking. Okay, it's starting to flash things. Now I'm going to just move my phone up very carefully so I don't unplug it. <laughs> I'm going to move it up so you can see what's going on with the phone. I'm going to kind of set it here. Maybe if I can. There we go. And just adjust my camera a little bit. Zoom out a bit so we can see Odin's working too. Right now it's flashing the uh, factory FS. And this one is definitely going to be the longest. Sorry about that. The longest one to flash. It's definitely the biggest file. Whoops. Just gonna move my phone there because I don't want to screw anything up here. <laughs> and this does take a little bit of time, but once we're done here, we'll be able to see that this is definitely a lifesaver if you're. Uh, 
wanting to flash ROMs or things like that on your on your uh, Samsung device definitely a must-have if you're gonna be doing that kind of stuff and it's still flashing that uh, factory FS but if you look at the phone lift it here you can see we're about halfway on that little uh, little status bar so Computer is just doing its thing still. And I decided I wanted to use that program that I knew would uh, screw my phone up a little bit. Just because I've seen it, uh, videos out there showing how to flash a note in and they were definitely a lifesaver when I first time I bricked my phone by accident and I I wanted to show that the phone was indeed bricked this time and I am going to bring it back to life with Odin so that's that's why I went ahead and uh, ran a program that I knew was gonna kinda s I don't know if it's w with uh, uh, synergy or if it's just the epic or why but for some reason it does have trouble with that uh, the fast reboot ups thought I'd turn my power monitoring off okay now we're flashing other things uh, we've got the modem right now and we're still downloading here and we're almost done on this bar it just uh, it's resetting the phone and I get the green button that says pass now keep in mind my phone was semi bricked a few minutes ago and if for any luck we are back to like it's out of the box of course I'm running the EB 13 on it I know there's newer one but this is one that I've been able to get it to work on, so I'm, I do that and then I just flash the EC05 modem or download the OTA update, depending on what mood I'm in, <laughs> or what ROMs I'm going to stick on. But And keep in mind, it's, it's going to be just like you got it out of the box, it's a factory reset. trying to hold this as still as I can for you. I'm sorry my hands don't always work right. <laughs> and it's setting all the files up. It is the first time it's well and it's it's running. Okay, I just got the low vibration so we should be getting up to the screen here in just a moment. We can see the task there the notification bar. And I am back factory let's go ahead and go here settings and about phone and there we go EV 13 and it is no longer bricked so uh, it was just a quick little showing of the I, I tell you the ma the magic of Odin. I, I would definitely recommend anyone who's thinking about uh, working on their Samsung device. Uh, Odin is definitely something you de you do want to have before you do it because it it it's brought my phone back a couple times now and this time as well and it's it's worth its weight. I tell you. Anyway, this is the merch the nerdy max i will include all the files on the bottom of the description line and thank you so much for your time and until next time have a good day